This is the tale of a boy who used magic. His reasons were sound, but the outcome was tragic. Look at him, stupefied, trapped in a bubble. Allow me to outline the cause of the trouble. Rupert Shelley, for that was this young fellow's name, was like other children, but not quite the same. He'd gladly have faced any vampire or ghoul than the venomous creatures who plagued him at school. Here was a place of morose introspection, where books offered little by way of protection, till one day a new face appeared in the class. Flaming-haired Jill, her pale skin smooth as glass, eyes blue as sapphires, a nose like a kitten, naturally Rupert was utterly smitten. Books on the subject of girls were quite charming, though some of the pictures inside were alarming. With his dreams and ambitions consumed by romance, his ghoulish companions scarce rated a glance. The decor, once eerie, now whimsical, quaint, a virtual shrine to true love's patron saint. In time, the day came for which Rupert had pined, and so, with his heart and his card intertwined, He stood before Jill as if floating in space. Then suddenly, everything fell into place. But girls can be fickle and love can be cruel as Rupert discovered the next day at school. With a turnabout worthy of Jekyll and Hyde, Jill, quite transformed, took poor Rupert aside to inform him quite coldly that they would now part. Thus, breaking their tryst, she fragmented his heart. With his feelings in shreds, not to mention his pride in his room, Rupert sat and he desperately tried to erase every trace of the hurt, but he couldn't. He prayed it would fade, but it stubbornly wouldn't. Just then, he remembered a spell he'd once read in a volume of magic he kept by the bed. A strange incantation he couldn't construe, but he thought to himself, what harm could it do? Utko meombula continuator. Spells can be potent, this more than others. To Rupert's surprise, not to mention his mother's. In class, the malevolent taunts of his peers were now indistinct mumbles that fell on deaf ears. Yet this wondrous power was lost on our hero. His range of emotions diminished to zero. Cocooned unhygienically, life became bleak. Each dull day predictable, week after week. No echo of sadness nor spark of elation. Locked up with his memories, robbed of sensation. A poor end to this tale, I'm sure you'll concur. But hope's not yet lost. 
for our sorry young sir. On the point of accepting his wretched existence, passively gazing on life from a distance, dimly he noticed a girl drawing closer her head in a tone that appeared to engross her. something like lightning shot right through his chest. As the old saying goes, every tale has two sides, but you might be surprised that it also applies to enchantment, for hidden in each magic spell is not only the hex, but the unhex as well. Only she who could see past the enchanted skin would set free the heart of the boy trapped within. The tale is now told. Let us pause for reflection. Hearts, as you've seen, need no magic protection. Flirting with spellbooks is asking for trouble. So don't be like Rupert and wish for, well, you know. <laughs>